Second Chronicles 21, in all these accounts of the kings, and you've got chapter after chapter of biography of, of kings, some were good, some were bad. In all of them, you have a reference to their mother. And the implication very often is that the mother set the path for the child. And the mother, indeed, was the mother of the man. And here you read about Jehoram, and he did evil in the eyes of the Lord, because he had the daughter of Ahab as wife. These historical records, particularly in Chronicles, give a huge emphasis to the influence of women in the lives of these men whose biographers we have here, particularly their mothers, and also in this case at times their wives. Remember, in those days, women were seen as chattels, as things, not as persons, as really irrelevant to a man. Whereas God's record is quite different. He perceives the strong power of the influence of those who were perceived at the time as totally irrelevant and of no particular significance. Now, in this, you see a huge pattern for all of us, because in one way or another, we are perceived as likewise, as obscure people who have no particular influence. You may be a wealthy businessman and you may think, well, phew, what, what influence can I have on anybody spiritually? I'm sort of stuck in this thing that I'm in and it's really hard to get out of it. You may be some obscure person living in an obscure village somewhere or other who never travels more than a few kilometers from your home, has a very limited circle of contact, and you think, well, who am I to be an influencer? The point is, we all have far more influence than we imagine. We are all a light of the world. We are the only chance the people around us have to see the face of Jesus. He has no other hands, no other legs, no other eyes, no other ears in this world in that sense, apart from you and me, because we are the body of Christ. You have more influence than you think. You are not obscure. You are not irrelevant. You are not a non-influencer, a non-player. You are. And ask God to open your eyes to your audience, because they're there.